Have yes, one. please sign me up for one of those. Uh, <laughs> let's not? let's go to Amanda. Amanda's on the phone in Tame. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Vanessa. You've had a terrible time with it. Yes, yeah. I've been a hay fever sufferer since childhood. Um, I'm now in my forties, and it has actually progressively got worse over the years. You ended up on a nebulizer. That's pretty bad. Well, yes. I mean, I uh, again, I've I've never suffered from asthma, um, but it got to the point a couple of summers ago where. Um, my hay fever was so bad that I was having quite bad asthmatic symptoms, so it was decided that I should be put onto um, a nebulizer and also given steroids for a week, um, which was pretty extreme. <laughs> and, and you say that it, it really got to you. I mean, you felt depressed and miserable, you couldn't go out, and it was horrible. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that's the thing. I think if you are a, a bad hay fever sufferer, as your other callers have said, that, you know, you really are in a, a miserable state. You, you know, you're, you're unwell with it. It's not just a case of sneezing, coughing, itchy nose and eyes. It's, it really is quite debilitating. It makes it very hard to um, go out and work. You can't enjoy the lovely, sort of beautiful, sunnier weather like um, everybody else. And, it, yeah, it, it's actually it's, it's pretty awful. But the good news is that there's a wonderful punchline to this story. Completely, yes. I um, I actually had several, from several different people, heard that acupuncture was a, a possible way forward for hay fever sufferers. And so I, myself, a couple of years ago, decided to visit my lovely local acupuncturist. And um, she she has cleared me of um, all my hay fever symptoms. Are which you is all better? Miraculous. Gosh, yes, that's I don't suffer at all anymore. OK, let's see whether Sarah Jarvis thinks that's a good idea. Well, there's certainly no harm in trying it. I have to say there are many conditions for which acupuncture actually does work very well. It works very well for sleep problems and so on. Now, whether or not it's actually reducing your body's immune response or whether it's reducing the number of symptoms that you're getting from it, frankly, it is not going to do any harm as long as it's in the hands of a licensed professional. So which give it a whirl. Absolutely. Give it a whirl. Well, this